Unser Mädel ist noch nicht. Good afternoon, Bel Air High School class of 2020. It's been a while since we have spoken. Hopefully um, you guys are doing all right, feeling safe, feeling healthy, staying with your families, and uh, that we are all making our way through this new experience. Uh, my purpose today is to take you through just a few things because we are ready to kind of start to close out the spring semester and your four years at Bel Air High School. So I'm going to give you a lot of information. All of it, of course, will be on our website. And this um, meeting is being recorded. So if you've got any friends that are taking their AP human AP exam or they're working or they're still asleep or whatever it may be, just let them know it'll be on our website so they still can watch it. So they're not missing out on the information, but we are going to give you guys kind of a head start. So you're going to have a jump on a lot of these things and that will prove helpful for you um, as, uh, as I go through some of this. Um, a couple different things that we are going to talk about. We're going to obviously talk about checkout. We're going to talk about closing out your grades. We're going to talk about senior dues um, and um, then uh, a graduation celebration, the graduation and a celebration, which will be June 5th. So we're going to kind of process through that. And then as your questions are coming in, um, I've got some help that will, after we get a little about two thirds of the way through the presentation, then we'll stop to take some questions. And then, of course, we'll create an FAQ like we did last time um, for you guys. All right. But uh, I hope that you are well. And uh, let's go ahead and kind of get started. Um, I'm going to, um, on your screen should come up a slide deck and then I'm going to, that just helps me stay organized. You guys know me, sometimes I can go off on a tangent, but this will help me um, stay organized and take you through some of this different information. So let me see if we're going to switch that screen now. Okay, so I think it's there um, at this point. So um, one of the first things you'll see is the mandatory survey and that survey is up I think it's going live right at the end of this meeting. So right at the end, you guys can be the first ones to complete it. It is mandatory for everybody. You will not be able to go through checkout and get your cap and gown unless you have finished this survey. Um, it just takes you through a, a series of questions. Some are Bel Air specific. We're getting a lot of information for a lot of different departments. Um, some of this is related to COVID-19. Um, one, one or two questions in particular that you're gonna wanna pay attention to, especially if this applies to you, is um, whether or not you have textbooks, because that's part of your checkout, and certainly student laptops. That's part of your checkout if those are in your locker on campus. So if a textbook that you need to check in um, or a laptop that you need to check in is in your locker, what you're gonna wanna do is jump on this survey because you're gonna, as you go through the survey and you reach a point where you answer yes to that question, you're gonna have to sign up for an appointment. Um, to be able to do that. And the earlier you complete the survey, the earlier your appointment, the earlier you get to check out, get everything turned in, get your cap and gown and feel like you're on your way. So as soon as that goes live here um, at the end of this meeting, you might want to jump on that, especially if that applies to you, because as those appointments fill up, because uh, we can only bring in a certain number of people at a time, keeping our social distance, someone has to walk with you so we don't have kids just roaming around the building. Um, it's not a time to come and get your lunch bag not a time to come and get any of that. You're coming to get a textbook or you're coming to get your laptop. There will be time later for you to come and empty out the other stuff um, that you need to. So if you're not getting one of those two things, don't worry about getting an appointment right now. We'll take care of you a little bit later. Um, the other part, so that, that's why that's important to get to the senior survey. Um, there's also a question about prom in there that I need you to make sure it's toward the end. I'm talking about that for July 25th. It's important for you to know that uh, we do have the prom still scheduled for July 25th, but we know that uh, um, when we did that back in March, that was four months out. And where we are right now, um, I'm not sure that's where we thought we'd be two months ago uh, and only two months out from prom. So we need to get a firm answer from everyone of whether or not they think that they would attend prom as scheduled July 25th at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Um, if we don't get a significant number of people because it is paid for by senior dues, so if we don't get a significant number of people, it may be, become cost prohibitive to where we have to look at some other kind of celebration where we're able to bring uh, everybody together. And of course, it will be dependent on the museum and any safety guidelines that are in place from our uh, county judge and or the mayor of Houston. So there's still some variables in there, but boy, if we get an answer from you in that senior survey, we'll be able to make some, some other decisions. 
So let's move on to the next part in terms of senior checkout and what that looks like for you. Not everybody's just showing up at one time. We are doing this based on your English teachers. Um, and this will begin Monday the 18th, so a week from yesterday. Now, what as you're looking at this and starting to process, the other thing I want to make sure you know is that um, grades are starting to close out for you. Um, so we are looking to have grades close out either Friday or Monday of next week. So this Friday or the Monday of next week. Now your teachers can work with you a little bit longer if you're, you know, that you're really rallying in cycle six to get your grade up to where you want it to be. And the teachers have permission and the discretion to continue to work with you. But primarily, uh, seniors will close out Monday on the 18th. So if you've got anything that's missing and that's in grade speed, MSG, then make sure that you're getting that in so that you can have that taken care of. Um, but then also continue to work with your teachers uh, to make sure that you're all set. Remember, again, as I've shared a long time ago, cycle four and cycle five is what makes your spring semester grade. There are no final exams. Cycle six can only improve your grade. Now, some of you have kind of taken advantage of that and as a senior. And if I'm being honest, I probably would have done something similar, maybe. Um, but uh, at the same time, um, we hope that you are staying engaged because being connected is important. While we may be keeping our physical distance, um, socially, we need to make sure that we're connecting with people either through email, text, phone calls, um, write a letter, whatever that may look like. I hope that you are continuing to do that. Um, it's important to me that you guys are connected and that you still feel a part of Bel Air High School, even if we can't physically be together. Um, if you look at the, the week, the, the way it looks like here, um, we've got this lined up by your English teacher, your English for English teacher. Now we know that at the same time, the 18th through the 22nd, we have AP exams going on and those are all online. So any of you that are AP testers this week, calm down, we're gonna work with you. We have a plan for that and you'll see that a little bit later on the Friday and even rolling into the Tuesday after Memorial Day. The 22nd is a Friday and then the 25th, that Monday is Memorial Day and there won't be any, any school and or any uh, anybody on campus. So we do have a plan for you. So just for example, if you have Miss Cooksey Thomas for English 4, then your day to come to checkout is Monday. If you have Miss Terry, then it's Tuesday. If you have Miss Green or Miss Humphrey, um, then it's Wednesday. That could be our dual credit and, and or English 4 kiddos. Then Thursday is a whole lot of teachers. So that's Ms. Bagley, Ms. Brownfield, Fish, Flanagan, Graham, Harris, Roger, Sanders, Tellez, Thomas, Upton, Williams, or Caro. That's a whole group. It's kind of a, a collective right there. And then Friday, we know that those are either seniors not enrolled in an English course. Um, maybe you took it in grad lab or you're enrolled in on-time grad academy. Um, also, starting on Thursday, since that's Bagley and Fish and Thomas, that's when a lot of our AP Lit kids will be finishing up. And so if you want to start to come, and turn in your AP, um, your uh, laptop, you can do that as well and, and do the checkout process. If you look along the bottom, if you have an AP test and need your computer past your designated drop off day, you may drop off the day after you finish your exams. Um, and then if you're all the way through Friday, um, you can return on Tuesday, May 26th. All of this runs from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, so we've got not too early in the morning, but we've got windows there for you. Um, so now let's take you through kind of what that process looks like. And we will be doing questions toward the end. We know those are starting to come in. When you arrive, if you look at this map, you're gonna come to Pebble Beach. So that's the senior lot. That's where you'll come in and there'll be some triage there just to make sure you've got everything you need. You've got it all set up and that you're ready to go. So you're gonna start in the senior parking lot. The queue will form there and you'll start to move around. You'll come out Ferris. You'll go up to Valerie. I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see my finger that's pretty silly of me in any case um you're, you're uh, you'll go up ferris north up to valerie street make a right we'll take everybody down valerie street and then make a right down south, south rice um the laptop drop off will be right around um on south rice toward uh maple so right around where you guys would exit for the buses where miss catlin's office is um so that's where laptop drop off will be you'll check in there I will get you cleared. You'll make a right on Maple, and in the circle drive right there is where you'll do textbook drop off. Um, so if you've got any books, and we know which seniors have books and which don't. So if you're like, I don't have any, I know I don't. When you come there, we'll have a record of that. We've got records of that. Um, if you're not sure, that might be something to check with Mr. Davis, Ernest Davis, and you can find him on our website just to verify. Once you've cleared the laptop drop off, cleared the book drop off, you'll go down um, where kind of the counselors and APs and principal park. 
You'll go down along there to the cap and gown pickup. So that's where we'll have the cap and gown, and I believe we'll also have the senior t-shirt there. I think that's correct. That is correct. I've gotten confirmation. So cap and gown and the senior t-shirts at that last stop. Once you've gotten those, you are good to go. You are checked out of Bel Air High School. Um, so you have completed all of the pieces um, that are part of the checkout process. Um, let's look at the next screen just to kind of, uh, I think this is a little bit of a summary of some of the different things um, that you need to make sure that you do. So you're making sure that you submit any senior survey, not any, the senior survey uh, online, um, that you return any uniform, instrument, et cetera. So hopefully if you've got, let's say you've got your um, bass or you've got your flute or you've got something for band or orchestra, uh, you should have already heard from your directors to come and turn that in. Hopefully this Thursday is when you'll drop that off. And get all that in athletic uniforms maybe if you're in track or baseball or anything like that some of those things that we would have typically rotc uniforms is another big one things that we would have typically already received um, uh, if we were all seeing each other submit your final transcript request form that is also on our website there's a to-do list i'll show you at the end but you want to make sure that you submit your final transcript request so that we know where to send your final transcript um, and or if you're going to need a hard copy, but there's a process there. You need to make sure that you have done that. Um, and then you come on the day assigned to you and complete the drive through checkout. Um, now, there are questions that have, some people have come in and said, hey, I never paid senior dues, but I need to get a cap and gown. You can go ahead and pay for your cap and gown only on school pay, um, which you can access from our website. And that is for uh, $40 that covers your cap and gown. There will not be any cash accepted uh, during checkout. So you need to do that ahead of time if you need a cap and gown, and then we'll have that for you when you come through. Um, so the sooner that you do that, um, let me confirm that is available right now on school pay already. Yes, it is already on school pay. So as soon as this is over, if you want to log in to take care of that, you can go ahead and do that as well so that we're ready for you next week when you come for checkout. Um, one more form. The next form is a let, let me show that to you. It is from our nurse and um, it has to do with your shot records. Um, so that is something it's called M track, so immunization track. Um, so we'll have this on our website and then you'll also be able to, if you want to go back to the recording, um, you can do that as well. But um, this gives you access to your immunization records uh, once you graduate. Um, and so it's just a way for you to make sure that you can still access that when you go off to colleges or anything else. And there's all different types of reasons you may need access to your immunization record. And this is the easiest way. You don't have to go back to the school. It'll be there for you and you can just grab it. So that's something that we encourage you to do as well. I um, mean, you can submit that to Nurse Thomas via email or you can print and drop it off at checkout, either one. Um, if you don't have the paper, just email it to her um, and you can go ahead and take their kick care. Uh, take care of that all right so let's move to um, kind of our next screen here so let me pause here for just a second cool refreshing drink best team in football right there pittsburgh steelers all right um, so class of 2020 celebration this is an event that is with the entire city of houston i believe five or six school districts are doing this this is not graduation. This is a, an event. So you can imagine that it's similar, not the same, but similar to what we would have had done on rehearsal and the senior luncheon day. Okay, those are student only events. This is also a student only event. It is optional. You do not have to attend. We would love to have you there, but you do not have to attend. You may um, not feel as though you want to be in big crowds or you may have other obligations or your family um, isn't wanting you to be in big crowds or anything like that, that's okay. This is just a chance for this, all seniors across the city. Um, I believe it's at 6.30 p.m. Um, we don't have a football field, so we're doing ours in the senior parking lot. Um, and so um, it is a chance for uh, the seniors to come together in their cap and gown um, and just have some time together. We'll go through, there's a part of it that will be um, similar for every high school across the city, um, a part of the program. The whole thing is just one hour. Um, so it'll be something that's similar and then there'll be a small piece that's also Bel Air specific. Um, I'll be there, I would love to see you. A lot of us will be there. We're inviting teachers, a lot of our staff, um, and we'd love to see you there in your cap and gown. You can wear shorts under your cap and gown. Um, that's fine. You don't have to dress up like you would at a graduation ceremony because again, this is not graduation. But let me also be clear. 
this is for students only. This is not, not for your families. This is not for parents. Um, there is, um, it is for students only. We'll, as we get closer, we'll send out information about where to park. We're trying to finalize some of those details. I'm working with the city of Bel Air, also looking over at toward Meyerland to see if we can access any parking areas over there, because we know that could be tough. Um, but we'll get you more information. This is an hour long event. Um, just on campus, people will need to come with a mask um, and all of that. You want to make sure that you're keeping good social distance. Um, the best that we can and then we'll uh we'll go through um just the time together it is not graduation and it is only for students um next up is this has just been announced by hisd and that that is graduation the class of 2020 graduation the the, the, the decision made by the district is that all hisd high schools will uh, go through the same experience and therefore it is the decision of hisd to have the graduation be a virtual graduation um, they will all air june 14th at one o'clock pm um, so what and that link where you would be able to see the virtual graduation um, will be live for one year so you don't have to watch it june 14th at one o'clock you may say you know what we're going to have a family get together on june 20th because that's an amazing day. Who wouldn't want to celebrate June 20th? Uh, and maybe you'll have it on June 20th um, at two o'clock and you'll have like a big get together. Then you would just click on the link and watch the graduation. Um, it'll contain the same speeches that would be a part of it from the valedictorian, salutatorian, myself. Um, and then we would have, um, when you got to your name, uh, a picture of you would come up. Um, if you have your picture, and I'll talk about that in a second, um, and then um, your name would be, you would hear your name announced, and um, that would be as though you were coming across um, the stage. It is not the same. I understand that, we understand that. Um, this is not the same in terms of a, uh, a graduation year or an experience, and you guys know that. Um, so we're gonna continue to um, work with the district to find ways that can try to make it more special and more Bel Air specific, and so we're gonna work with that. Um, we know that uh, we have the pictures for every senior that had their portrait taken for yearbook, which is over 500 of you. We have your pictures ready to go. And so you're all set. There's nothing that you need to do. Those of you that don't, we're going to work to see how many of you um, have not, uh, didn't, we do not have a picture for, and then trying to see what might be possible in terms of trying to get a picture for you. Um, if not, though, your name will certainly still be announced, uh, and so you're still part of graduation and you will graduate. Um, it just may look a little bit different, but we're going to get more information for you. We're just working out some of those details. We've never done this before. We've never done virtual graduation before. HISD has never done it before. We're trying very quickly uh, to make sure that we do it as well and as smoothly as um, possible. Um, with that, let me go ahead and pause here for a moment and just see. Um, what kind of questions have one question that's come in i can see is will teachers be at the class of 2020 celebration the june 5th event we have invited teachers they're all welcome to come of course um, they'll make um, their decision um, again just like you will determine uh, based on either the health situation in your home or um, what other information we may have at that time let's see what other questions have come up Oh, so some great questions. One is about senior dues. Hey, I already paid senior dues. What? How do I get a refund? How does that work? So um, on your senior dues, the parts that will not be refunded is the amount of money that paid for the cap and gown, the amount of money that paid for the t-shirt, senior t-shirt right here, and then also the diploma cover, um, which we, we have for all the graduates. So those three things will not be refunded. The pieces that may be refunded is prom, uh, depending on what we do with that and then and um, also the senior luncheon which we would have been part of your graduation rehearsal so we will refund that so as soon as that's why on the senior survey we're getting that question about prom so that if it turns out that we're going to just we're not going to do prom is the way that it looks um, and we're going to do a different kind of celebration um, or we're going to try to maybe have something be, before you head off in august depending on just what the guidelines look like uh, from the CDC and the governor and everything like that. We may have to opt for something like that. We want to have something that does celebrate you. It's important to me. It's important to us. We haven't given up on that. We're just trying to figure out the best way to do it 
that's respectful, that's safe, and um, that uh, works for the most amount of people. So that's why we need your input um, with that. The other piece I will say is, um, just to reiterate is, oh, and then there was a question about, can we decorate our caps for cap and gown? Absolutely. We never let you decorate your cap. So if that's one thing we can give the class of 2020, if you want to decorate your cap, go for it. So when you come to uh, the June 5th celebration, you can have it decked out however you want to. That's completely fine. Uh, and we've never done that before and hopefully we'll never do it again. Um, but uh, um, that is something that you can do. So you can decorate your cap uh, as part of your cap and gown. Um, and be, be respectful, of course. Um, but uh, the other pieces, so what? remind me again, cap and gown, how can I pay for it? You can go right now into school pay and pay $40 to pay for your cap and gown if you haven't done any dues. So here we go with a few other questions that, that have come up. One is, so what if I haven't paid dues and I want to pay for some of this, like get some of these a la carte, um, then we can do that. So the way that we're going to try and set that up, let's say we do have prom and you haven't done that, then we will set up a way that you can pay through school pay so that you can pay for your ticket to prom. Um, if, if prom still happens, um, if that's the way that we go. So we will be able to set that up. If you have not paid senior dues, we do not have a senior t-shirt for you because we order them based on when you pay your senior dues. So if there's something like, okay, well, I want to get a diploma cover. I want to order a senior t-shirt. We're going to have to um, get some feedback and to see um, one with the senior t-shirts. We have to just work with that company to make sure that they're reopened and um, what that timeline looks like. Um, but we will do everything we can to try to create, even if it's a la carte, different ways for you to still be a part of the class. With, you're always a part of the class of 2020. But sometimes you want something that demonstrates that in a very clear way. And so we will um, we will work our best to try to put that into place. So stay tuned on some more uh, details around that. I think that's a fair way to answer that. Yearbooks. So the um, we have talked to Ms. Negri and the yearbook staff. Um, they are in Dallas, the where the where the books are, are printed. And that it factory is just opening back up. So our books should be delivered. I think they have a delivery date of June 8th. And then we will, will be in contact with everyone that purchased one to start to, we'll organize it um, a week. So that'll probably be, if it's not that week, the 8th through the 12th, then it will probably be the 15th through the 19th. Um, but we will set up a time, but they won't be here before June 8th, um, but they are coming. The book is done. Um, it's just now getting them printed, getting them out. They're doing the Dallas schools first. I don't like, but that's just kind of how it's working. And so then the Houston schools come right after that. Um, and so it'll be here. We expect June 8th is the delivery date. So the celebration, what will it consist of? Um, I'm not 100% sure. My understanding is uh, it starts at 6.30. Um, there'll be some shared things, so some remarks, um, and maybe some shout outs from local celebrities. Um, there's been speculation of some different people from Houston, some uh, musical artists that you could probably guess, sport, uh, sports athletes, uh, different people connected to Houston that will try to give out some words to Houston. And that'll kind of be, if you can imagine, a simulcast because this is six school districts across Houston. So I think this is like Spring Branch and A-Leaf and uh, Houston. We're obviously the largest, um, but just some different ones that are all a part of the city of Houston. And so there'll be some shared pieces, I think about 30 minutes that are all the same. And then there'll be a part that is Bel Air specific. So this, so normally at the rehearsal is when we would rehearse, but we would also award um, some different scholarships. So we would award the scholarship. Uh, there's the new Cesar Cortez scholarship from our alumni uh, and friends uh, group uh, that they created in Cesar's name. Um, there is the Sherry Senior Scholarship. Um, we may do the three principal scholarships. Those you generally are done at graduation. Maybe we'll do those at this event. We're just gonna have to figure that out. Um, there are just some different pieces that are usually part of that rehearsal that we would make part of it. And then you know what? I tell you what, we'd be open to ideas. If it's something, I mean, I, I think at the end, we'll probably all do the school song. That's what we would do at graduation. 
You want to throw your caps? I don't know. Let's hear from you guys and what you think could be some really cool things for us to try to make a part of that. I think that would be fantastic. Um, and you can email those directly to me. You can email them to the, your counselor or administrator or anybody like that. Um, you can put them in the senior survey. There's a section at the end that says, what else would you want us to know if you've got some ideas there that you want to add? If there's something cool you think, hey, if we're together, um, what would be kind of a cool way that's a Bel Air thing that we could do our last time on campus together? I would love those ideas because you guys are really smart and you come up with really amazing ideas. I don't want to forget any. And um, you're generally probably more creative than I am. Um, you can also let me know if you watch the morning announcements at all. There's an Ask Mr. McDonough section. You can send in some um, tips there as well. And we'll just try to collect them and get the best ideas and figure out um, how to make it work. So when you're doing the senior checkout, so when you're driving in your car, you will stay in your car the whole time. We'll come to you. Uh, if you get your laptop, we'll come to you. You'll hand it to us. We'll take it. We'll check you in and then you'll go to the next stop. If you're getting your cap and gown, we'll be there. You'll say your name. We pull it up. Bam. We hand it to you and you're on your way. That's why it's important also that you come on the day that you're assigned. So again, day one, Monday is Miss Cooksey Thomas. So if you have Miss Bagley, don't show up on Miss Cooksey Thomas's day because we don't have your cap and gown ready for you. So um, it'll just take longer. It'll be a big delay. So um, and we probably wouldn't even be able to fill it. Just make sure you come on your day. Now, I know later in the week is when those AP kids who were taking an exam may have to come in to fill in one of those days. And we'll work with you a little bit later. But those first couple of days, we really need to make sure we're sticking to the schedule. Um, but we will hand you everything. You won't have to get out of your car. Um, yeah. So the, the official last day of school is June 1st. Um, but for seniors, we're asking you to close out um, so there's two parts to this question, I guess, or two parts to the answer. And that is, um, I said that grades will be closing out this Friday the 15th and then Monday the 18th. And so you may be thinking, sweet, I'm done. Um, what we would ask is we are still asking the teachers to still have um, to schedule check in sessions um, that you can attend. And maybe those are to discuss um, something that you guys were continuing to share. These are like enrichment kind of activities. Um, and the reason that that we still have those scheduled, and some of you um, may not understand this or anything like that, or may not apply to you, you'll understand it because you're about to be Bel Air grads, but it may not apply to you, is um, it, it's important for you. We want to make sure that you, we don't want to cut off or end a connection to you um, early. We don't want to do that. Um, you're our kids until you graduate, and you're always then part of the alumni, but we don't want to say, okay, well, May 18th, we're done and we're not going to even try to connect with you when maybe that's a positive in your day. Maybe you look forward to that with one of your teachers and you just like checking in and and just seeing how everybody's doing or having a conversation and how great it would be if that conversation, if, if like it no longer was dependent on a grade or, or meeting something. You just discussed the topic or just talked about something that was just easy to talk about. Those are ways that we, we want to remain connected to you as well. And so that's why it's important that we're going to have the teachers continue to do that. So. Technically, your last day is June 1st. Um, grades for you will close like May 18th. Now, some teachers may work with you if you're rallying and you need a little bit extra time to make sure um, they'll do that. You know, make sure that you're you're talking with them. You know who you are if you're needing to rally and they'll work with you. Um, but uh, I hope that as those teachers continue to schedule um, check ins with you guys that, that you'll consider attending those because um, I think that they're important for you to make sure you stay connected. They're also important for our teachers, and we're going to be selfish for a little bit in that um, just as you know, you have missed your friends um, and maybe missed teachers and different people you see on campus, it's been really hard on us as well as the adults in not seeing you. Um, not more hard or, or more challenging or anything like that, just different. Um, but we miss seeing each other as a staff and a faculty that works together, but we miss seeing the kids. The energy is just not there. It's just completely different. And um, you know, sitting sitting in this office when I got, you know, I got Ralphie here with me, but it's just me and him, you know, he's a good guy, but I miss seeing you guys. So um, I hope that you'll stay connected because um, I think it's valuable. Oh, what if, yeah, if you don't have a car, we do have walk-up service. So if you need to come through and do that, um, we'll have the ability to to do that. Um, what we'll probably do, if you'll just report to the senior lot, 
um, then we'll know, uh, we'll have a plan for anybody who's um, coming who doesn't have a car or anything like that. Perfectly fine. Um, I know a couple of seniors in particular that ride their bike every day. Um, and so if that's your mode that you're going to use, that's fine. But we'll make sure we have a plan for anybody that's walking up. That's no problem at all. We still want to see you. Maybe you got time for one or two more questions. Mm -hmm. Question about honor cords that you would have gotten. Um, we don't have a solution yet on that. But yeah, that's the key word. So stay tuned and we'll get that for you. We'll make sure that we push that out. Thank you for asking that question. It's very good. So what if you lost your charger or your case? Um, just work with Mr. Scarrow and Mr. Paniagua when you check in. The most important piece to us is the device. Um, so that's what we're going to make sure that we get back from you. Um, the case and everything like that will uh, we'll continue to work, work with you. But just come through. It's not going to keep you from graduating. If we can get your device, the laptop, that's what's most important. The other pieces we'll just figure out. We, we are being flexible as we move um, through COVID-19 and, and all of this. We want all the pieces. Says, what good is it for you just to have a charger sitting at home um, if the device is with us? But um, don't don't keep yourself from checking out just because you're worried about that. Just bring everything that you have uh, and we'll go from there. One more. OK, so school pay um, is how you can pay electronically if you haven't used that before. A lot of you have. And if you go to our website, I think it's on the front page of the website, correct? OK, and you just click on that. Do you create a profile or create an account? Yes, so you'll create an account and it'll take you to the Bel Air page and then you'll see the different items that are available to be paid for um, for Bel Air High School for students of Bel Air. And so you'll see the different items and then just click on those. It's, it's an easy uh, interface once you get into it, but just click on school pay and you should be all, you should be all set. Right, so if you have, um, like if you're at home and you've got a copy of Hamlet or something like that from your senior English class, um, or you've got some textbooks, I mean, some library books, just bring those with you. We will have a place for you to drop those off. Um, we're just, we, we're gonna get as many of those back as we can, um, but that's not part of the checkout process, but boy, we'd love you to bring those with you. Um, just hand them to us. We'll, we've got some different crates where we'll just store them. We have talked about with Mr. Castile and then uh, the English teachers as well about just getting those back so we can recoup our part of our inventory. Yeah. So just to reiterate one last time, so um, a lot of seeing you guys, 176 questions. Nice job. Um, is um, I just want to make sure, Mr. McDonough, if I'm good in cycle four and five, but I haven't done well in cycle six, am I okay? Yes, you are OK. All right, cycle four and cycle five is the floor. So the average of cycle four and cycle five, you can find the average of two numbers. You guys are strong. The, the average of the cycle four and cycle five is the minimum. So that's the lowest your semester grade can be. All right, so if cycle, let's say that was an 80 and a 90. So then your average is an 85. So your semester average cannot be lower than an 85. All right, so for cycle six, you totally just blew it. You made it. 23 or a 73 anything below 85 it's just going to be it's going to show up on your report card and that may not be much fun it's going to show up on your report card but it will not be part of the computation that leads to your final um, semester average that's just magically done by chancery in the, in the school system but it's going to be on your report card it won't be on your transcript but it's going to be on your report card now if cycle six was an improvement for you okay then you'll see that on your report card also, but the math will have been done to raise your grade if cycle six raised. Obviously, if cycle six, if cycle four was an 80, cycle five an 80, and cycle six an 80, it just says an 80. Um, and for final exam, it'll just say um, exempt. So it'll just say EX in, in that column um, since nobody's taking final exams. <laughs> yeah. 
So lockers, just for some of you that came a little late, because we know we got uh, um, some of you may have just gotten here, um, is that um, when you are completing your sur senior survey, which goes live as soon as this meeting ends, um, when you complete your sur senior survey, if you need to get a laptop or a textbook, okay, so textbook checked out to you or the laptop checked out to you, if you need to do that, you need to indicate that on the senior survey, it will take you to a screen where you have to set up an appointment. Okay, because we have to monitor that and manage everybody coming to do that. So the earlier you conduct, can complete the senior survey, the earlier your appointment's gonna be so that you can stay on schedule to check out. So as soon as that survey goes live here in just a few minutes, make sure that you do it so you can get that early appointment. But again, this is not to come get your lunch back. There'll be time later on to do that. We will get you in to do that. We don't wanna keep it, we got no use for it. But we, uh, um, but the textbook or a laptop, thing things that will keep you from getting your cap and gown. We do want you to be able to get those as soon as possible, so that then you can be a part of, of senior checkout. So again, senior survey, get it done as soon as possible because you'll get that earlier appointment. All right, so let's move just to, to kind of wrap this up because I know we've got some questions that continue to come in. Um, if you look right here, it'll show you kind of on the main page of the website, it shows you where the senior to-do list is. This takes you through everything. It should also have a link to the senior survey, Greg. Yeah, so the senior survey is there. Some of you are racing there now. We see some of you are already logging in, um, but go to that senior to-do list, go to the senior survey, and you can go ahead and get that completed first. That's probably your, your, your most important piece. Um, and if you look on the website also, if you look at the screen right over to the right, um, under Bel Air Share, it says school pay. And so that's where you would go to be able to pay for your cap and gown. Um, that's the only thing that's gonna be up there right now. When we talked about prom ticket or those a la carte items, those will be things that are added later and we'll push that information out to you. If you haven't already joined our Remind group for the class of 2020, make sure you do that. Um, and then we, that's our, and our social media channels is how we'll continue to get things out to seniors. And share with your friends. If you see it, share it with your buddy so that uh, they can get that information um, as well. As we begin to wrap up, um, our similar theme here has been, of course, that we have to do this together and that we have to continue to um, be a Bel Air family, uh, be a Bel Air community. That means that we're relying on each other, that we're working together. Um, we're not leaving anybody behind. Um, as we start to fully develop what that senior celebration will look like, again, give me some ideas. Make sure that I know what those are because I would love to. Um, a question that's come up also is for seniors is Cesar Cortez. Are we making sure that we don't forget about him for graduation? We will never forget about him. But he'll certainly be a part of our graduation. We'll honor him. Um, in, in the right way, whether that's at the celebration or it's at the virtual uh, uh, graduation or it's both. Um, we'll figure that out. And if you've got a particular idea uh, that you, we've already got some ideas that we're thinking about, but if you've got something you'd like to suggest, we're open to that as well. Um, and then of course there is the scholarship um, that uh, will be awarded by the alumni and friends of Bel Air High School in his name. And that is a scholarship that continues uh, past just this year. Um, other than that, please stay connected. Please, please, please stay connected. Um, we miss you. Um, this has been hard. Um, stinks. Um, but it's uh, it doesn't take away from the days and the years that we've had together as part of Bel Air. Um, and it doesn't take away from the powerful experiences you've had, the friendships that you've developed, and um, the memories that you've created. All the way starting back at Cardinal Kent where I ripped a dollar bill in front of you until um, graduation. Maybe I rip another dollar bill. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but in any case, um, thank you for being a part of Bel Air. Thank you for being here this afternoon. Share the link with others and um, we'll get you all set. All right. Miss you guys. Stay Cardinal proud and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank you.